This is the 1999 Airstream B190 on a Ford E350 chassis. The V10 motor, I've got it currently for sale and I have had so many people interested in it and from other states interested in coming to travel to look at it that I figured I'd do a little walk around for you. That way if there's anything that, you know, gives you pause or concern, you know, you don't have to waste your time. But I'll tell you this, I've had this thing for three years and uh, has given me very little, no trouble. I mean, I've had a couple minor things. Uh, I've had a flat tire and changed an EGR valve and tune-ups and all that stuff and it's it's been a tank. Um, in, fact, in fact, I lovingly call him, his nickname is Hank. Um, I'm sure he wouldn't mind if you renamed him. But I figured I'd give you a little walk around and let you know a little bit about him. Um, we'll start here in the back. Um, so, from the back doors, open them up. You've got uh, two 5x8 speakers. You've got one there and you've got one here. You can't really hear them when the doors are closed, but if you were to have a party or something, I guess, and you open up the back doors, you can listen to your music. Underneath the, underneath the closet, here's a, this is the outdoor access to your closet. Um, you've got a fire extinguisher and um, these are, I've got three 100 amp hour batteries uh, connected in parallel to give you 300 amp hours. Um, and they, they do pretty good. I think uh, for regular use, for what I use it for, I charge it, lasts me about five days or more. You can do more days, but I, I would go about five days before charging. Um, and uh, anyhow, yeah, this is inside of the um, the closet area. It comes with uh, some leveling blocks for you, and so uh, what else we got here for you? You got a got a couple water regulators, and this is a little hose to help you fill up your fresh water tank. And uh, let's see, this is the back side of the wet bath that you have. Take this off. You got access to your spare tire. A uh, little extra little storage area back here. You got a little jack in there as well. I just fill crews up. That keeps things nice and tidy. <clears throat> got a backup camera here that attaches to the Android head unit. Um, I've tinted all the windows, uh, so when you're traveling, it gives you a little bit more privacy. Uh, see down here, you've got a Reese hitch that's rated S. So you got a 75. 100 pound right there and this is the yep, your little for your lights there got the um uh the attachment to hook up your lights for you and moving on we've got the uh this is your black water and gray water tank empty hook up that to your hose and dump your tanks you've got your gray water level here to release valve and you've got your black water tank release valve here and when you're hooked up at a campsite, I've never used this, but you've got a little water, uh, fresh water inlet. Never used these either, uh, but you've got a telephone line jack and a television line jack, cable TV jack. Uh, 30 amp power supply comes with a 25 foot cord. You've got an undercarriage compartment for your uh, your sewer tank, um, sorry, your sewer uh uh, attachment hose to kind of keep things sanitary that way you don't have to have it inside your van which is real nice uh, I do have a brand new one to go with it uh, got a this is your compartment for the, um, the back side of your three-way refrigerator that's your exhaust and uh, um, I guess if you want to you know you need to fix something I guess you got some access panel uh, moving on, we've got a compartment here on the side here. This does lock and I have a key for it. This is very handy. Drops down. And I kept my toolbox and all kinds of things in there. Comes with a fresh water hose. You got a brand new um, sewer hose. You've got a 30 amp to 50 amp adapter. You've got your, um, you know, if you need to tow anything, this is your um, towing light thing that hooks up. Uh, yeah, nice little storage compartment. Holds a lot. Again, it does lock there, and you got a little, I got a little key for that. Uh, this is the access panel for your Onan generator locks as well. Onan Microlite 2800. 
and if you can see here we've got a little exhaust baffle for your generator to kind of keep things a little quiet um, so moving on to the driver's side here we'll turn on the uh, KC lights that are installed take a look at those they do work and uh, have helped me out in a pinch many a times it does have a the original I'm, I'm the second owner bought it from the you know the original owner and uh he had a cd antenna hooked up i've used it a couple times but it just kind of i keep it underneath the uh driver's seat just because i never really use it um yeah has uh power locks power windows power uh, mirrors that all works uh, the seats are leather and has they're very comfortable no stains a couple little tears i got a little tear here um a minor one there and uh let's see and then you've got a little a little nick here on the armrest i'll come back to the cab in a minute uh, i've got a little nick here. i don't know if you can see it here let me see right there you got a little nick on the windshield um it's been there since i've owned it uh never spider never leaked never gave me any trouble so i never fixed it also has one on the very top uh, little, same little little rock must have hit it it's been like that for three years never leaked never spidered never given me any issues uh, it's got aftermarket um, american racing tire rims uh, wheels and it's got bf goodrich all-terrain tires uh, the front two tires will need to be replaced soon they're fine now but they will need to be replaced at some point um, this as well as the, the rear brakes will need to be uh, replaced they're fine now but that's just something to keep in mind uh, it's got a uh, horizon awning no rips no tears works just fine i've got the uh the um the rods to kind of hook this up and you spin that out and it has legs nice to have a little awning on a sunny day um down here you've got an access panel to your propane tank turn this little lever here get your propane tank underneath uh, on constant use uh, I've, I've get about a month to two months out of it without having to fill it up um, this is your uh, um, exhaust for your your furnace um, I've got a little um, screen on it to keep critters and bugs and wasps from taking net taking a home in there uh, i've got a this is where your this is a locking fresh water compartment uh, i've got the key this is your hot water heater uh, access panel hot, hot water heater works great it's on uh shore power or propane um, also has a little screen to keep bugs out uh, i've got a little 12 volt plug down there got two of those and uh yeah that's it for the outside I believe um, moving on to the interior you've got a little uh, compart little, uh, storage uh, access panel door to the inside cabinet that uh, is uh, oak wood this was paneling this was like wood paneling everything that you see green was a pan like wood paneling so I, I did a two-tone green all the front facing is one tone of green and the side facing is another tone of green you can see uh, you've got a light switch here for your out exterior little little porch light, which is nice. Two more 12 volt plugs for when you're in shore power or generated generator. Um, originally had carpet all in it, and I put um, uh, uh, laminate wood laminate floor down and this gray carpet down into the front. Uh, again, the seats are extremely comfortable. Um, let's see, yeah, I'll show you. I can get to the front with, with one hand here. Uh, all right, cranks up first try. Has uh, 120,920 miles on it. Uh, this is your Android stereo unit. Um, no CD or cassette. This is, uh, I had a Wi Fi, um, uh, what do you call this? Hotspot. And so I used that for um, everything, Spotify, um, your uh, GPS and all of that. 
but it does have a radio so if you wanted to use your radio you can it has a new pioneer 8x10 speakers in the doors it sounds great uh, you've got a uh, leather uh, and over the cab here and you've got a uh, vanity mirrors above the front the passenger in driver's side uh, right here is your antenna for the um, what is that thing that's the antenna for I think that's the um, that's for the, uh, uh, the Viper alarm system that's attached I'm moving from the back to the front looking you can switch that front uh, passenger seat swivels around which is very handy um, it also has this uh, aftermarket Lagoon swivel table, which is ex uh, one of my favorite things, believe it or not. This thing swivels, so you can swivel to the front, so you have a little desk table on, uh, it's got a little teak, teak table top there, so you can use it from the passenger seat or the driver's seat, swivel it around, use it as a little table top for uh, your dinner or whatnot, or you can swivel it to the side like this and have it as a little desk very handy um, I love that thing uh, like I said you've got oak cabinets all around this is all hardwood oak um, very durable um, cabinets you gotta let me turn these lights off so that no glare um, this uh, got overhead cabinets here I use these for my clothes these have hinges that once they're down they do not open very nice um, and then you've got a, uh, these are LED lights to kind of save you on your battery life. Got a cabinet here, tons of cabinet space. I, I, I never ran out of room in this thing. Um, cabinets above the uh, microwave. This is where I kept all my food. Um, I put these bungee cords in place to kind of keep things from falling out when you're driving. If you forget to close your cabinets, you know, just in case, uh, you know, full container of pasta sauce might fall out and explode on your floor while you're driving not that that ever happened to me yes it did okay and this is the microwave it's got a Panasonic microwave uh, in order to use that come to this cabinet here and uh, you got a three-way switch so when you're into shore power or um, your generator you can either use it your AC your microwave or your hot water heater one at a time because it's used so much power you can only use one at a time so you want to use microwave turn the microwave switch on come over here your microwave is on you want your AC turn to AC and AC is on and this thing blows extremely cool this is a uh, really nice it's a penguin it has um, a fan option honestly I kept the AC on on low and I it was plenty fine. I never had to go to the high setting. And, uh, also has a heater in it, which is nice too. Um, and your, oh yeah, the hot water. So yeah, if you wanna go to your hot water heater, you turn on your hot water heater here. And after five minutes or so, you've got hot water and it is, that's nice. Um, I've kept the labels from the original owner. He was an older gentleman and I thought these were kind of neat. He labeled how many, how much, tanks how much you know how much the tanks hold and the height and everything and it's got a uh the generator hour um, meter on here it's uh, 348 hours so far uh, you don't want to have um the shore power plugged in while you turn the generator on or you'll ruin the generator so you want to anytime you want to turn your generator on make sure shore power is unplugged We'll turn the generator on so you can hear that. <clears throat> As you can hear, you can hear the generator from the inside. It's uh, probably not something you want to have on while you're sleeping. But, uh, you know, and it's surging a little bit right now. But it should. you got to exercise it once a month. Um, there turn it off all right uh, 
So you got your microwave, your refrigerator. Your refrigerator has a thermostat here. It tells you how much the, um, the refrigerator is on the interior and what the cab temperature is. You got a three-way refrigerator uh, and freezer, which is nice. Works great. Uh, controls for your refrigerator down here. And you've got another storage compartment down on the bottom. I apologize for it being a little dark. Let me turn the light on. <clears throat> All right, going into the bathroom, you've got a little um, got a door that locks on the side here. Gives you a little privacy if you have guests over. Closes back. Um, got your wet bath, which is amazing. Uh, your shower head can uh, come out attached to the ceiling up here, or you can take it out the back or whatever. You got a um, shower curtain that goes all the way around on the inside, keeps everything dry. Um, got your into your bath sink here, uh, your toilet. Got your vanity mirrors all the way around, storage on the inside of all of these. Got your exhaust fan up top. Um, yeah, let's see. You got a nice little uh, sink here. Uh, this is your closet. All right. So you have uh, your hanging rack here, and you have you know some storage on the bottom. Access the bottom storage to this side. You got a little toilet paper roll here. Um, all right, moving on. We've got uh, your Victron bow, uh, battery monitor here. This tells you how much uh, how much power you're, you're drawing, how much power you have on there. So right now we're at 99.9 .9 on the batteries. You can go through, and it tells you how much amps you're, how many hours you have left, and how many volts you're pulling, how many amps you're pulling. Uh, it's a nice little thing to have on board, so you can kind of keep track of what your batteries are looking like. Um, 12 volt plug uh, this is this right there that little switch it's hooked up to your WeBoost um, drive 4GX with an antenna on the roof that boosts your Wi-Fi signal you got your um, you've got a built-in um, television uh, TV cable uh, antenna sorry on the roof I've got that hooked up to my flat the flat screen TV here You've got the uh, thermostat for your furnace and your right there. Uh, like I said, I've never used the phone line, but there's a phone jack right there. Um, got the storage compartment above the sink. Nice for your spices and whatnot. Uh, the oven, it's got a meter above the oven so you can check your monitor of your battery. Let's see if I can focus in. Your battery, your LP gas, your propane fresh water your gray tank and your black holding tank uh, the black holding tank is a little faulty one of the um, this one of the uh, um, what do you call it the sensors on the interior I think has some dirt on it or something so it's like showing full but you can you can get that fixed easy by just you just gotta you gotta clean it out really well uh, then you got a above uh, your hood light up here and you got a fan it's nice so when you're cooking your camper doesn't smell like food uh, and you've got your um, yeah your, your water pumps so anytime you want to turn on your water you have to turn on your water pump which is located just below your oven down here there's your water pump here uh, not sure if I told you but yeah there's another storage compartment down here for some more storage underneath the refrigerator Oven's fantastic. I used it all the time. This works on propane, uh, three burner stove. I love that thing. Uh, then you've got your sink, cutting boards on top, my coffee cup. <laughs> but your sink here uh, works great. Um, that little guy likes to leak sometimes, so I think that thing needs, needs some washers or something needs to be fixed on it, but not a big deal. Uh, the light above, I like that little light. Um, so yeah, you got a little compartment up here. Um, I've got a uh, an inverter up here, a converter. Uh, so I've got it plugged in. I've hooked, I've got two USBs here and your nine volt here, and that's plugged in, and that's where my TV's plugged in at the moment. And uh, got a 
Bluetooth um, speaker I've got mounted up here with just these like sticky Velcro pieces um, that come off really easy. And that's hooked up to the TV because a TV speaker is not good at all. When I bought it, it sounded like garbage. So we turn on the television. You can see how that works. Um, it's on a mount swivel and it swivels so you can, if you're uh, sitting down here on the bench seat, you can view the television. And if you're up on your loft, you can swivel it back that way so you can view it from bed when you're up on the roof or oh, sorry, on the roof, in your loft which is very nice and also swiv swivels vertical so you can uh, store it uh, I've it also has a USB and HDMI and I hooked up a uh, uh, Amazon fire stick to it so I would watch Netflix and all that which is pretty great um, and the speaker like I said is it's, it's amazing it sounds a lot better than the stock speaker uh, got these lights that go all the way around that you know just kind of gives it some mood lighting that up just kind of tucked up around the the surrounding areas of the camper and there's a little um, you can let's see you can turn those off and on to do this little remote here then you've got a remote for the uh, max fan so this one handed so you can turn that off and on and control the temperature and that's a it re, it's a it does a reverse like it um it sucks the air in and sucks air out which is great so you can pull air in and some and if you want to do the pull the air out you can open up all the side windows which is on either side of the uh, loft bed uh, above the bench seat and above the kitchen sink and that pulls all the air in which is nice uh moving on to the you got another cabinet down here for some storage. You got another pull-out cabinet here. You got your furnace. This is the uh, below cabinet um, storage. That also that's where the access panel from the outside goes. And then you've got another drawer here. And these all stay put when you're driving. They've got like little latches and don't open and fly open while you're driving. Um, yeah, this little light here, it's like a fluorescent light. I did never like that thing, so I never really used it. I like to, I just use these lights. Um, oh, and there's lights above in the in the loft. Turn this little switch on right here. Got a light up there, a light over there. Also curtains that drop down on all the windows. Also these curtains, There's a track above the cab where you can pull those curtains shut. Nice little privacy um, when you're in here so nobody can see in. And uh, yeah, let's see what else is here. Um, oh, this bed. The bed is, for one person, this is fine. I, I sleep up there like this. But it also, let me move the television out of the way. As you can see, this mattress, it pulls this up pulls this slide out and so this slide comes all the way to here and uh, so we can extend the bed all the way out and you can see above the cab extends so you can fit two people out so your head is facing the window and your feet are facing the back and you can easily fit two people up there very comfortably um, and it has three custom made foam mattress pads that I've got that fits up there to give you a nice sleeping area uh, let's see um, this is for the uh, Wi-Fi um, boost the uh, Wii boost um, uh, the bench seat it does fold down it's a um, it's a jackknife bed so this thing pulls up like this and slides down uh, you've got more cabinet space down here you can drop down in there and then you've got two drawers down the bottom uh, the bench seat is not I mean it's it's fine but it's not the most comfortable thing in the world uh, you know um, so it's a uh, but it's fine no rips or holes or anything like that in it that I know of not that I've seen and um, it does the job. Uh, 
whenever this is pulled over and it fits right here, it's um not that comfortable when this is laid down. Like it's easier to sleep on this section than it is on this drop down part. I don't know if that's the design flaw or it's aged, but anyways, that's just a heads up on that. Um, this window can leak sometimes. It's not a problem with the window. It's uh, there's a um, I can show whoever buys it. There's a there's a gutter on the outside. Sometimes if that gutter gets debris inside of it, it can overflow and start to kind of come in right above the window here. And it doesn't happen often, but that's when you know that you have to go clean the gutters out. Uh, again, not an issue. You just got to keep up, keep an uh, eye on it. Um, what else is there? Oh, I had a very, I had like a two gallon glass water jug that was like my fresh water I kept in here when I was camping. And I took off and I drove one day and I forgot to secure it and that thing fell off and shattered and two gallons of water came down <laughs> and I had to pull over and wipe it all down. It was fine, there was glass everywhere and I got all the glass up and got all the water out and it didn't do any damage except there was like a little bit, you can't really see it unless you look at, there's like a little bit of uh, the light changes but there's like a little bit of um, like, I don't know if you can see it. There's like a little bit of a bubbling right here. You can't really tell unless you look in the right light. Um, but that's from when the water kind of got under here and it soaked it up a little bit. But again, you can't really tell. I mean, it's, I'm looking at the floor. I mean, it's, looks fine. Um, just trying to be transparent. Uh, what else is there? Uh, da -da -da -da. I feel like I'm missing something. Um, yeah. Uh, I feel like that's about it. Uh, there's no rust on the body. Um, you can see the the rails are solid. There's no rust at all. Um, and that's all the way around. I haven't noticed any. There's any body rust at all. Um, there is some surface rust, but I think that's normal from you know an older vehicle. Uh, you can see. But again, nothing that's like cancerous or bad. Uh, there is, let's see what up. On the fresh water tank. So the fresh water holding tank is on, let's see. You can see it, which is right there. And if you can tell, I don't know if you can see, but I've got these straps holding that thing. And that's not holding it up. That's just a little bit securing because when I first got it, uh, the inlet hose that goes into that tank deteriorated right at the entrance. And the original owner, I guess, didn't catch it. And the water was flowing into, there's a plastic holding tank. And then there's a, a metal um, support tank around it. And so the water, instead of it going into the plastic tank like it should, it was going into that pla the, the metal housing. And it created like it rusted along the edges and so I've had it like I put those straps up there just for my own peace of mind um, you know because you once you put like 30 gallons in there I didn't know what the weight was going to be like I've never had an issue with it it's been like that for three years and I keep those tanks full all the time um, but again I don't know just I don't want you to think I'm there's anything wrong with it that I'm trying to hide from me but yeah just to show you again there's like you can kind of see the edges where it's like a little bit rusted now you can if you didn't like those you know if the straps were like you know you didn't i don't know we're wanting to fix it proper or something like that or give it like a you can get somebody to weld you a new tank or put some more support beams on it but again there's nothing that's kept me from traveling or kept it from doing its job uh so, yeah, um, oh, I should probably show you the engine compartment. Um, and that should be it. Sorry for the long video, I just want to be as thorough as I can.